welcome to home school this year class 7 mathematics ncrt or cbsc syllabus we are in our chapter 4 exercise 4.1 of your simple equations first main complete the last column of the table you can see the table here complete this column is your question serial number equation value last column see whether the equation is satisfied when it is satisfied if s it is satisfied if no it is not satisfied indicate s and no here see the first problem x plus 3 equal to 0 what is the equation x plus 3 equal to 0 value put the value 3 in x let's solve here x plus 3 equal to 0 Substitute in x place, what value given? 3 plus 3, 6 equal to 0. Are these two same? No, they are not same. So, what you are going to say? The equation, this value, it is not satisfied. It is yes or no? No. Like this, we need to check and then say no. It is not satisfied. Or just write no in the table. Say the second one. X plus 3 equal to 0. Same equation. Putting X equal to 0. Substitute in X plus 0. 0 plus 3 equal to 0. 0 plus 3 is 3 equal to 0. Is not equal. It is not equal means what you can write? No, this is not satisfied. The third one x plus 3 equal to 0 x equal to minus 3 substitute in the x place minus 3 minus 3 plus 3 equal to 0 minus 3 plus 3 cancel 0 equal to 0 yes x equal to minus 3 is satisfied in this equation we get both the expressions equal that is 0 equal to 0 you write here S. Next one. Fourth one x minus 7 equal to 1. x equal to 7 given. Substitute in place of x is 7 minus 7 equal to 1. 7 minus 7 what it is? 0. 7 minus 7 0 is not equal to 1. Therefore what you say? No. See the next one, x minus 7 equal to 1, if x is equal to 8. Let's check it out. Substitute this 8 in the equation. What is that? x minus 7 equal to 1. 8 minus 7. 8 minus 7, 1 equal to 1. Yes, it is satisfying. What it is satisfying? LHS is equal to RHS. Sixth problem, 5x is equal to 25 x equal to 0. Substitute the 0 in this. 5 into 0 equal to 25. 5 into 0. 0 is not equal to 25. Then we say it is no. Next one. Seventh one. 5x is equal to 25. x is equal to 5. Let's substitute 5 into 5 is equal to 25. 5 is 25 equal to 25. Both are equal. Left hand side is equal to right hand side. Yes, it is satisfied. Next one. Eight one. 5x is equal to 25. x is equal to minus 5. 5x is equal to 25. And x is equal to minus 5. Substitute 5, 5 is a minus 25 plus into minus minus. Minus 25 is not equal to plus 25. It is differing with the sign. Therefore, what you can say? No, it is not satisfied. Similarly, we have four more problems. Let us do. Ninth problem, m by 3 is equal to 2. m is equal to minus 6. This value substitute in this. Minus 6 by 3 is equal to 2. 3 2s are. Then what you are getting? Minus 2 is equal to 2. Are these two equal? No, they are differing with the sign. Finally, what you can say? No, it is not satisfied. 
Next one, m by 3 is equal to 2, where m equal to 0. 0 by 3 is equal to 2, 0 is not equal to 2, no. Last one, m by 3 is equal to 2, m is equal to 6. Wherever you have m, you substitute now 6. In the place of m, you substitute 6. 6 by 3 is equal to 2. 3 table, where you get 6? 3 twos are 2 equal to 2. Yes, it is satisfied. Like this, we need to complete the table. Children, better solve these in your bus notes. Write only yes or no in your table. See the second problem. Check whether the value given in the brackets is a solution to the given equations. You can see here equations and you can see brackets and values are there. Whether this value given in the bracket is a solution of this equation or not, we need to check. So, how can you check here? Putting, putting n equal to 1 in left hand side of the equation. Where is your variable in left hand side, right? Your first a question n plus 5 is equal to 19. Check whether n is equal to 1 is a solution of this equation. Putting n equal to 1 in LHS. 1 plus 5 is equal to 19. You have here n children in n place you write here 1. 1 plus 5 is equal to 19. What is 1 plus 5? 6 equal to 19. Are these two equal? No, they are not equal. Left hand side is not equal to right hand side. Therefore, n is equal to 1 is not a solution of the equation. Is a not a? Is not a solution for the given equation. You can write that statement here. Therefore, n is equal to 1 is not a solution for the given equation. Second one, b. B sub question, 7n plus 5 is equal to 19, n is equal to minus 2. Same pattern, putting n is equal to minus 2 in left hand side, putting n equal to minus 2. Observe here carefully, 7, if I write minus 2 like this, what happens? You will be confused. 7n are multiples. So, in this place, you never try to do like this. When you have multiplication, always go with the bracket. Now, plus into minus, minus, 7 twos are 14, plus 5 is equal to 19. Minus 14 plus 5 will be how much? It will be minus 9 is equal to 19. Are these two equal? No, they are not equal. Therefore, LHS is not equal to RHS. And what you can write here? Therefore, N is equal to minus 2 is not a solution of the given equation. Is not a solution of the given equation. C sub question 7N plus 5 is equal to 19. And n is equal to 2. Putting, putting n is equal to 2 in left hand side. 7. Here again it is multiple. Don't try to write 7, 2. It becomes 72 again. 7 n there, right? Put bracket and write 7 into 2 plus 5 is equal to 19. 7 2s are 14. Plus 5 is equal to 19. 14 plus 5, 19 equal to 19. Therefore, LHS is equal to RHS. It is satisfying. This N is satisfying. So, what you can say? Therefore, N is equal to 2 is a solution for the given equation. N is equal to 2 is a solution. D option, 4P minus 3 equal to 13. P is equal to 1. Put P is equal to 1. Putting P is equal to 1. 
equal to 1 in left hand side of the equation. That is 4. Where you have P it is a multiple right? Put bracket. 4 into 1 minus 3 equal to 13. 4 ones are 4. 4 minus 3 will be how much? 1 equal to 13. Are these two equal? No, they are not equal. So, right, 1 is not equal to 13. That means left hand side is not equal to right hand side. Therefore, P is equal to 1 is not a solution. Is not a solution of the given equation. See E problem 4P minus 3 equal to 13. If P is equal to minus 4. Let's start a solution. Putting P is equal to minus 4 in left hand side of the equation. Observe here children. If your variable is on right hand side. You just write putting P equal to minus 4 in right hand side. Here your variable is in left hand side. So I am writing here LHS. 4 multiple now start bracket minus 4 minus 3 equal to 13 plus into minus minus 4 4 is 16 minus 3 equal to 13 minus 16 minus 3 it will be minus 19 are these two equal no they are not equal therefore LHS is not equal to RHS. Therefore, P is equal to minus 4 is not a solution. Is not a solution of the given equation. Last sub question in this main. 4P minus 3 equal to 13. P is equal to 0. Substitute or you can write putting P equal to 0 in left hand side. 4 Put brackets 0 minus 3 equal to 13. 4 zeros are 0. 0 minus 3 equal to 13. Where minus 3 is not equal to 13. Therefore, LHS is not equal to RHS. Therefore, P is equal to 0 is not a solution. P is equal to 0 is not a solution of the given equation. With this we are going to complete today's session. In our next session we are going to continue this exercise. Until that keep watching. Thank you all.